We're doing another one? No. Uh, I, think, I think we're closing the website down. Shit. No, but I just bought all that cake. For, for, for cake and For the website. For cakeandtits.com. Yeah, for baconTits.com. I, that's still unregistered. No one take it, it's ours. It's ours. This is proof. We we need to pay WordPress with shit. We're out of money. Cause you guys didn't donate. Ooh. Taking a look at Crash Twin Sanity for uh PS2. I'm feeling a little insane right now. Oh this Okay, this game, I'll be honest, this is one of my favorite Crash Bandicoot games. Like, good. Look at the art style. I wouldn't have known it by this initial art style. The art style's great. Like, it's good. Like, compared to... I thought that... It has character. Like, Wrath of Cortex, we just looked at that. That was so generic. Such a generic Crash game. This game had more heart and soul. Now, I feel like the development was rushed yet again. And there's a lot of glitches in this game. But I don't care. It's still a good game. It's got good music, too. This, I can already see them going in a very different direction than they did with the original oh, yeah, Crash this, this Bandicoot. This game is not serious at all. It is a joke. It was a big joke, and I love that. Because they tried the serious <laughs> thing, and they failed at it so terribly that I'm glad that they decided to hire... Like, they hired the guy that did Ren and Stimpy to do this game. for To do the uh, writing for this game. And it shows. It's a funny game. So yeah, I got my 100% save file. Yes, I did. I did get 100% in this game when it first came wow. out. Every every item in the game. You love crash games. Whoa, it well, just I changed. Uh, I never, I never 100%ed Wrath of Cortex. The aspect just ratio just changed all of a sudden. It did. Yeah. Oh. Eh, let's keep going. We'll fill in the black bars on the sides with pictures of kittens or something. I'll figure this out. Kittens. I love kittens. Also, oh. are we recording? God damn it, we're not. You fucker. Okay, wait. You motherfucker. <laughs> Guess what's going on? The outtake's real. Boom. Okay, now you can see that the music's actually pretty good. Aw, oh, crap. I kind, I, I kind of am in the middle of a weird place. I'm in a weird place right now. <laughs> okay, I'm going to make sure that I have... It in widescreen, I can't remember. Wait. Yep, widescreen's on, okay. Wait, wait. Okay. We're good. Well, this is a later level, so it's gonna be kinda hard. I'll probably die, but let's give it a go. I probably it probably would have been not good to start at the beginning. Oh well. It's alright. I won't judge you. Uh, yeah, I'm probably Okay, let's turn this down a little bit. I don't want to have to edit too much of this sound out. So yeah, you have no idea what's going on right now, but that's Evil Crash. Oh, I killed Cortex. I'm sorry. Basically, Cortex is running away from Evil Crash. I gotta let him get through without dying. Evil Crash looks like a pretty cool dude. Dude, Evil Crash is awesome. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know why they don't use... Like, I was so happy after this game came out because... Oh, God damn it! I'm sucking right now. Okay, um... They probably don't use him because he kind of comes across as a gimmick. Like, is it just me or does every game that tries to compete with Nintendo run, fall into this pitfall or fall into this pitfall to be a little bit redundant? Fall into this pitfall of having like a dark version, like Dark Mario, Dark Link, Dark Samus. Uh, Maybe I can kind of understand why they might not want to keep doing the whole Dark Crash it's thing. Just after this game came out, it didn't sell very well, so they changed focus on the Crash series and decided to, instead of making... This is sort of a hardcore Crash game. Like, it's a pretty tough game. Definitely not for, like, little kids. Instead, on the next few games, they decided to focus it more on kids. And it's really noticeable. Like, the humor is way dumber and a lot, a lot as funny, in my opinion. Yeah. So, and, and so they had got rid of, like, you know, they got rid of... Uh, you know, Evil Crash, and I feel like that was a bad decision, but that's just because I'm a fan, and I don't know, the new Crash games, the ones, like, the mutant ones are not good, I, at least I don't think they're very good. They're not platformers, and the little platforming that they do have in them is usually pretty bad, so. Oh god. What? I was on the button. Now that looked dumb. See, this game I has, agree. This game is dumb. No, this game this game has glitches, but luckily, 
I have so many lives, it doesn't really matter. I don't think it's a glitch as much as it is the mechanic is not well thought out. No, it's thought out, it's just a glitch. God damn it. I need to be faster. I'm, going, I'm doing this too slow. <laughs> I used to be really good at this game. Back in 2000, whatever year. Was it 2004, 2005? I can't remember. Let me say 2004. Oh. And I'll say right now, the controls are way tighter than in Wrath of Cortex, so they're basically equivalent to the original style crash controls, really. Oh. And Joe. Yes. Would you believe me if I told you this game is open world? Yeah. What? <laughs> okay. It's open world with, um... It's open world, like, kind of like, it's not even a, it's not really a hub, but you go, it guides you to the, um, linear levels, linear, you know, old style crash levels in the, through, going through the hub world. And there are some, some open world areas, but it's okay. The open world sections aren't that great, but I'm glad they didn't, like, try to make it into GTA or anything like that. It's not like the new Sonic games where you have to talk to all of his friends and stuff. Oh, fuck that. <laughs> That's what I hate about open world. Like, I'll be fine with some sort of story, but when they start making it so that you have to, like, they forcibly make you talk with characters, like, to progress some sort of story. It's like, I don't want to find character X, Y, and Z. I just want to run to the next level, play that level, and have fun with it. I don't know. Oh no. I wasn't supposed to hit this one. God damn. No, why did you hit that one? You killed him. Poor Yay, Vortex. Rome Total War finished downloading. Oh, cool. Yay. Oh, I didn't even mention the premise of this game. So the premise of the game is that Crash and Cortex have to team up to fight a new enemy called the Evil Twins. There's always one of those. destroy the world. And hilarity ensues because Crash and Cortex are not friends, but they have to team up or else they're all gonna die. And Cortex's Evil Twin is probably nice. No, they're not, they're not, no, they're not, okay. They're not opposite twins. That's the thing. Uh, evil Twins and Evil Crash slash, and there's no Evil Cortex. Evil Crash and Evil Twins are separate things. Evil uh. Twins... I, I, I'll show you. There's cinematics in here that I can show you. But yeah, that, that, I guess that could be kind of confusing. There is not no such thing as an evil cortex. Just evil crash is... Actually, right now we're... According to the storyline, we're in the 11th dimension right now. And that's oh, where shit. evil crash lives. Oh, shit. So, I don't even know what that means, but apparently evil crash lives there. That's kind of a bummer that they don't just let you keep going straight. Yeah. Oh, in this game, they got uh, an acapella group to do all the music. Really? Yeah, it's really good. It's actually pretty cool. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, you goddamn. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. That's my own fault. One reason why I really want to get some boom stands for these mics is my hand kind of cramps up. Because these are small mics. I don't know. It's uncomfortable for my hand. You're a wimp. But yeah, we should. I am a wimp. But yeah, we should get boom stands. I am a fucking wimp. We'll, we'll get some. In time. I know. Like I said, baby, tomorrow. Baby, baby steps. We're gonna go to Sam Ash in the afternoon. And get it, our hands on some physical products so that we may go to Amazon and purchase it at a cheaper price. Yep. That's how it works these days. That's why all brick and mortar stores are going out of business. Of course, we then get left with this shitty capture card. No, the, you're not understanding. Capture, the, the capture card is not the problem. It's if they had live demos in stores, I would understand your qualm. He's fine. I know this level, Jessica. Do not, yeah! Do not, do not question me. Uh, 
This yeah, music is so fucking weird. Yeah, and that's the end of the level. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, this the best way. invention, well, not invention, but the best thing about this game, you know how in every Crash game you have to go collect all those Wumpa fruit? Yeah. They come to you. You don't have to go all the way to them. It's great. Yay. Finally, you don't have to like, oh, I got to go all the way to that Wumpa. Oh, it comes Yay. to me. Oh, oh. I wish more games did that. And the slide animation is so much better. Slide jump. And look, the character model is so much, so much livelier. Great. <sighs> it's great. So I'd like me on this fine evening. Yeah, I uh, I didn't go to bed till late last night, like usual. More so just because I've gotten to this point where I'm like forcing myself awake so that I'll like fall asleep instantly. It's just really hard for me to just lie in bed. Um, okay, I'm, I'm going off the path to see if I can get to, get to where the hub is and I can get to some earlier levels. Huh. Yeah. I don't want to, I don't want to play these later levels because they're not that fun to watch because I'll die a lot. Oh. But the, the next, and, and plus, um, the boss fight is right after this next level anyway, so hmm. I think it'd be better that we go back to the hub and, um, get to, like, one of the early levels. All right. And then maybe we'll take a look at one of the cutscenes. If I can find the early levels. If I can find the early levels, then do that. If not, we'll just look at some of the cutscenes, because they're actually really funny. I'll be honest. And the, plus you get a special video if you get 100%. And it's kind of funny. What's the special video? It's uh, Cortex and Crash and Therapy. <laughs> that sounds okay, actually pretty good. I'm having difficulty finding the hub. But maybe it's over here. No map in this game. Kind of a bummer. It was before, like, a lot of games had So, maps, wait. I, I didn't see a smooth transition from that level. That level was played in part of this open world game. Yeah, it's it's a smooth transition. Wow. No load times past the initial load. It's great. That is pretty cool. Okay. I might be able to find it now. It kind of does devalue the purpose of the fruit. I think you can just collect it in the... Well, I don't know. No, it no. Responds. Fruit are very important because you need life. Well, I know, but does the fruit respawn? Like, how does that work? It respawns... I don't know when it does. It respawns, but I don't know how often. It's... Do I have to backtrack all the way? I don't even remember. It's really an open-world game, isn't it? I guess I have to backtrack. But there's... A level here. The music in this level is good, though. Oh, I guess you can't do that. Uh, how do you get back? I don't remember. Carefully. There isn't like a fast travel I remember. I remember there's no fast travel. How did I do this when I was a kid? Oh. Well, I mean, it's got good art. Okay, well, I think that... Oh, there's a mask over here. Mask. Now I'm sparkle. Okay, well, let's take a look at some of the cutscenes and then we'll call it a day. Alrighty. See, look, I got all the gems. Yay! All the gems. Yay! Um. Okay, so. Let's see, we got. Oh, and there's a there's a trailer for the Spyro game that was coming out that year. Riveting, right? Yes. Boss galleries. Okay, each of these has different things. There's a lot of extra stuff. Okay, here's the movies. Let's just look at the first movie. Give, tell me what you think. Okay, okay. Oh wait. Okay, never mind. These is these are just animations. <laughs> these are still pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> they are pretty good. Yeah, I guess proof that was, of concept. That was an unused animation. Some of them actually. Okay, there's enemy galleries. So much extra stuff in this game. I was actually really happy with the extras. Okay, I'm gonna guess the yellow gem extras are the movies. No. Where's the movies? I know you can watch them. I've watched them before. Options. Maybe the first one is just that, and then the next ones are actually movies. Oops. Dang it. Nope. Okay, it's this thing. Nope. Press it again. <laughs> Is 
Is he pretending like he's going to kick him? No, he's going to kick him. He's pretending to be not kicking. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's what I meant. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Ha ha. I'm going to get ya. <laughs> Come here. Sleep, my insipid angel. Crash! Crash! Where are you, big brother? There's something weird going on in the bay! Come see! Oh, God. And then you follow what is supposed to be Cortex being Coco, and... Yep. That is too funny. Oh, yeah, then they fight. Crash's hands are blurry. Okay, now here are the evil friends. That feels good. I was bursting in there. How are you fools? Before the awesome might of the evil twins. Aren't you too adorable? Let me see. I might have some chalky treats here for you. Chalky treats? Oh, oh, oh. We've some good news and some bad. The bad news? We're going to destroy your precious islands. The good. You won't be around to see it. How tiresome. Oh, that'll be great. <laughs> you want to play mind games? Okay, tough guy. <laughs> Let's play mind games. Yep, just take his brain out. This is the part where you run away screaming. <laughs> Go on, run! Catch you later, Brainiac! <laughs> So yeah, I think you're getting a feel for what this game's about. You bet I am. Let's see. Let's go to the final one. And actually, um, I don't want to. Well, I guess I could just spoil what happened. Let's just say Cortex made the twins somehow. Oh my god! And then they came back. I'm not surprised. Okay. Now, the two of you have been asked to begin these therapy sessions so that we can work through the conflict apparent in your relationship. This week, we're going to do a trust exercise. Cortex, let's start with you. I would like you to fold your arms over your chest, close your eyes, and fall backwards. Okay, Crash, your job is easy. Just catch Cortex as he falls. We want Dr. Cortex here to know that he is in a safe place. I don't think this is going to work. He's an idiot. I don't even like him, let alone trust him. It's... Just that I have a fear of falling. Okay, fine. Let's do the silly exercise. I'm in a safe place. I'm in a safe place. I'm in a safe place. <sighs> oh, how I hate bandicoots. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> uh. And it's too bad because um, this was actually the end of the main, like the newer Crash games that are mutant games uh, are actually a different storyline than these ones. So this actually is where the storyline that I've followed ends. So. That's true. It is, but it, the problem is, it doesn't really end. Aww. They left it open for a sequel. And Son of a bitch. That sequel, which they were planning on a sequel, it got canceled, and then they made the stupid mutant games, so I don't know what the fuck's supposed to happen. You should write a fan fiction. Fan They're fiction. not going to finish the story. It's up to uh, you. Well. Oh, it's getting steamy in I here. I guess we, I should go start working on that. So. <laughs> I guess that's the end of this episode. That's the end of tonight. And <laughs> we got to write our... We gotta write our fan fiction. It'll be posted on the site. <laughs> Eventually. Eventually. We're not posting it.